Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video. It is so lovely to have you back. I hope you are having a pleasant time. In today's video, I just saw this uh, music video a while back where there were, instead of eyes, there were mouth, <laughs> uh, so in the face, and it was just a weird looking effect. And I thought maybe somebody would find that useful. So let's see how we can do that inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So, so when, when you have seen, seen, seen this video, video you'll be able to make, to make this very strange effect. Let's get right to it. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, this clip and uh, Let's do this strange looking effect. So first off, we're going to push control spacebar and we are just going to type in plain tracker and we're going to add that into our flow. And then we are going to draw a shape around the thing you want to track, in this case, my face. And then we're going to change the tracker from point to hybrid overlay and we're going to make it a translation and rotation. And um, if you get this thing you saw here where with this mistake, you could go up and just set the refer time code as well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And um, again, if you have any troubles with tracking your footage, like as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Um, let's just try that again. So sometimes the tracking is just messed up and there's one thing you can do, which helps a lot usually. Either you can try to make it render or you can go to the end of your tracking and then track backwards. And then you're just going to say, okay, and you're going to set the f frames yet again and say, okay, and now you'll just track backwards. And as you see, Sometimes that is all you need to make it work. I can't tell you why it doesn't work the other way, but um, sometimes it just doesn't. I am going to speed up the tracking in post. Okay, with the tracking done, we are going to hit the create planar transform and we are going to need two of those. So first off, I'm going to, I have pushed it once and it right here and I'm going to go into the planar tracker again I'm going to duplicate that so I have two of those because that's what I need I'll close down the inspector and then I'm going to take my footage and I'm just going to use control C and control V and I'm also going to do this two times so here's one and now I did it twice and it gave me a merge and I don't need that but I'll, I'll need the merge anyway so I'll just keep the merge and then I'm just going to rearrange things here. And then I'm just going to take a polygon. And with the polygon selected, I'm just going to draw a shape around my mouth here. Um, let's see. I'm going to zoom in. I'm just using the plus and minus on the keyboard. So I'm just going to do a rough mask around my mouth. And then I'm going to connect that to the media. I'm going to connect the media. You see, if I go up here, I can see what I actually masks. I'll open the inspector and with the polygon selected, I'm going to soften the edge quite a bit, not too much. Then I'm going to connect the media to the planar transform and I'm going to use this push down shift and drag the merge down to the flow and I'm going to connect the planar to the flow. And now you see nothing is happening before we take the merge and then we are going to remove our thing around. And here we have the mouth. So we are just going to connect it or replace it where we want it to be. Some thing around here. And I think I'm going to make it a bit smaller because it shouldn't be that huge. I think we'll make it a bit smaller. I'm just going to adjust it on my clip like so. Yeah, I think that is what I want. So now I'm just going to copy paste my polygon tool again, control V, uh, control C, control V. And uh, with that done, I'm just going to do the same thing, going to connect it like so. And in reality, you could have, have um, copied the 
first eye mouth eye layer and just use that so you shouldn't use time on doing it one more time but i didn't so you can save some time if you do it like that instead so again i'm just going to move this out i'm going to size it down and then i'm just going to move it up where i think it looks good something like a little smaller something like this and uh Let's go back to the edit page and have a look. So let's have a look at the effect. Okay, here we have the effect, super easy to make and a very strange one indeed. But um, you might find it useful for something else as well. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.